What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Huke poster which I posted on Instagram the other day. It's going to be up on the screen right now. So this is what we're going to be making today. Uh, it's not very complicated. It's pretty simple. A few techniques that you might need to learn. Uh, but that's about it really. So let's get straight into the video. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make our background layer. So it's going to be 1080 by 1350 in pixels and it's going to be portrait. So if I click create now, so we've got our background layer. So this can be any color you want. Uh, I'm just going to leave mine as probably a white color, uh, just a standard white. And then we're going to drop our first texture in. So I'll drop that in and then I'll be right back with you. All right guys, welcome back. So this texture is going to be named pavement. So that's the texture we're going to be using on the background. So once we drop that in, we're just going to do a circle in the middle. So you can probably lock this now because uh, you're not going to need to touch this anymore. So if we lock that we're just going to go over and get our ellipse tool and draw a big circle in the middle like so now we're going to fill this with white for now and then we're just going to center it in the middle of the page voila all done so next thing to do is probably add in a gradient overlay so if we go double click to get the layer styles go to gradient overlay now i've already got mine selected so what you're going to need to do is well not do that um don't reverse it, click on the here, and then it'll come up with this. So you wanna click a yellow, so my yellow is FFBA00. And then you're gonna get an orange, and we're just gonna go FF7800, if you wanna copy me, but you can do your own colors if you want to. So we got that, that's the gradient, all done. So I don't need to do anything else for the gradient, but we are gonna get rid of the stroke around the edge of the circle. So once we got rid of that, that looks a lot better. Now the next thing we're going to do is add in some text. So we're going to get our text tool and we're going to get a font called Anton. Now Anton is a font you'll probably need to download, but I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. So what we're going to do is type in Huke in capitals uh, and we are going to set it at probably uh, one, that's about, yeah, that's about the right size, something like that. Or you can make it a little bit smaller. So if I just make it a bit smaller like so, something like that that looks good and again we can make the circle smaller probably as well so it's not too big for the design something like that now we're going to duplicate this text twice and put a 0.25 gap between them uh, again i'm just going to reduce the size of the text just because it's going to be taking up too much of the page so it's now at a 79 point make that 80 if you want so the first two texts down here, we're going to select them and we're going to just reduce the fill to zero. Now what we're going to do is double click on both of them to get our layer styles up again. And then we're going to click stroke. Now we've got a stroke. I'm going to leave that at four. So that's what we want it to look like. And then you're just going to do the same again with this one. Double click, stroke, done. So that's all you need to do for this. So we've got our text all done. Uh, we just need to add an image in. And then we need to add in some more texture over the top. And that's about it, really. So I'll go get the image now and then I'll come back right, right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I've got the image. As you can see, it's quite a high res image. So when, once you get it, it'll already be um, black and white because I've already changed it for you. So I'll leave that in the textures panel below. So it's black and white. Now we need to make a few little shapes that are gonna go down the side here and um, some more text. And then we're gonna add some texture over the top and use a camera or filter. So if I zoom in, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go down here. We're gonna get our rectangle tool, make sure it's on a uh, white stroke. And we're just gonna make our own, basically our own um, cross. So if I do that, now I've got an outline for a cross. Now I can lock these two together. And then we're going to get our pen tool and make sure we've got stroke applied. And then we're just going to zoom in again so we make this really accurate. And we're just going to draw around this shape. So if we do like this, you can go right to the edges if you want. doesn't really matter too much because uh, it doesn't need to be too perfect. But yeah, we'll do this. And there are much easier ways of doing this, but this is just the way I've done it for this video. Now, if you're an illustrator, which I will be making videos on uh, in the coming future, you can make that really quickly. But because we're in Photoshop, this is the way I know. So now you can turn those two shapes off. And as you can see, we've got a, a cross, which looks perfect. So we're gonna just rotate it like so. And then we're just gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna convert it to a smart object and then start rotating it. And then something like that. Now, uh, you should easily be able to do that. So once you've got your shape, just need to duplicate it a few times. Now, as you can see, it'll look a little bit pixelated at the moment, but it's not to worry. It's it's all fine. Once you use the camera or filter, it'll look good. So just drag and drop it uh, about a 0.10 gap between the between them. Uh, do the same again with these. 
so it locks into place. That looks real good. Uh, now you can you can fill one of those if you want. Uh, you can fill this one. Just double click and then uh, get your pen tool and then fill it white like so and then close it and save it and th now they're all white actually I quite like it all white so you can choose if you want it just a stroke outline or if you want it filled white so now what we're going to do is get a text tool again now we don't want it that big for sure uh, we just want to type in 2020 so 2020 like so same font again Anton and then we're just going to rotate it oh actually we're just going to rotate it on its side so make sure it lines up with the top of the text that looks pretty good to me then we're just going to duplicate this one again and we're going to use the same thing that we did earlier so zero fill and then we're just going to click double click and then stroke now if you think the strokes too much on this design you can double click again go back to stroke and then reduce it to like three so it's less of a stroke but i think that looks quite nice basically guys we're nearly done uh, as i said this is quite a simplistic poster but what we're going to need to do now is go down below the image layer create a new layer get a paintbrush tool uh, and you want to make a soft brush quite big so you can see it and then we're just going to select a orange color that we use to make the uh, gradient and we're just going to click once there and then we're going to go there and click once as well so now we've got our light so we just want to click overlay which makes a nice little background layer and then we can if we feel like it's uh, not enough we can double click again and that looks quite nice so that's all done so the last thing we're going to do is add the texture in and then a camera or filter so I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to drag the two textures in that I've used. So these will be in the assets panel below. Um, I'm just going to make sure that these are the right size so they don't look stupid on the design because uh, that would not be great. Right, let me just turn that one off. So the first texture, I've got lighter color selected and a 30 opacity, so it's not too strong. But I'm going to reduce that to about 15 because when I do put the camera or filter on, it will look a lot stronger. Then we're going to add some paper over the top. So this is going to be multiply 100%. Now you can make this down to like 80% because the camera or filter will increase it. But that's all you need to do. So now if I select all of this, uh, you can unlock the layers. So if we go to our bottom layer, select it all, group, command J, command E, as we've done many a times before. And we're just going to highlight over the top of it. And then we're going to go layer via cut. So now I've got our poster cut out. Perfect. Delete that. And then we're just going to go to a camera or filter. So now I'm in the camera or filter stage. Now we can put our side plan paneling on so we can see the before and after. So now what you want to do is increase the yellows, maybe increase contrast, definitely actually. Increase the exposure, highlights, shadows, they can all be increased if you want. Uh, whites and blacks. Just mess around with it, guys. Do what you want with it. Obviously, you can make it look how you want. So clarity, definitely push that up. And then dehaze, saturation definitely uh, then we're going to go to the curve layers and just play around with shadows and stuff and see what looks best that looks pretty good to me detail sharpening you can increase fully or you can just increase a little bit completely up to you guys and then the color mixer obviously you can change a little bit but again it's always personal preference um, just do what you want guys obviously this is a player from dallas empire so yellow and orange fits their color scheme so something like that would help but obviously you can do it whatever you want so go down to effects and then we'll go to grain add a bit of grain over the top uh, only a light bit of grain and then a vignette as well just to bring the colors in that's pretty much it as you can see guys we have created this uh huke poster i think he'd be impressed with it if he saw it himself but you never know he might see it one day but we've got our image done we've got the type in the background we've used a gradient for the first time uh for some reason our one of our crosses has gone there but obviously you can use as many as you want i had three but i don't know where it's gone um <laughs> But anyway, guys, I think the poster works really nicely. The image lays on top, lovely. So I have hope you if I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like and a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are, and if you want to see any more esports posters, that'd be great. So just remember to check out the Instagram. We've got loads of stuff going on over there. Check out the Twitter and the Facebook page as well. All the links are in the description below. Uh, thank you so much for the support over the last few weeks, guys. I hope you're enjoying these videos, and I'll see you in the next one.